Hello, this is Neil from MasterPaintingNow.com, and I have a sped up video here. The original time was 35 minutes. I didn't record audio, so I figured I can turn this to a speed video. I'm using my Bob Ross brushes, which you can download for free at MasterPaintingNow.com. The link is in the description. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out the colors I want for the mountains. I don't want them to be too dark, but I want them to be too light, and I want them to be too saturated, and so I just kind of mess around with the colors until I find it. Right now, I'm using my Bob Ross mountain brush. Again, these brushes are free. The software, therefore, is PaintStorm. That's what I'm using now. PaintStorm is only $20, and you own it for life. It's not, a, it's not a monthly thing. You pay one time, you own the software for life. And that includes free updates and everything. I was trying to figure out why this brush kept changing the color. So usually I have that there for when I want to do certain types of things. But for this, I didn't want it to keep changing color on me. So I had to turn off uh, some of the color dynamics on it. And then I got it to work how I wanted it to. And now, right now I'm just trying to find the right color so that I can... Um, I, I just wanted it... These are very, very distant mountains, so I just wanted a little bit of detail to kind of show up. I didn't want it to be like a complete silhouette, although that's pretty close to what I'm going for. This is something a little different than I usually do. I usually do more bright skies. I decided to do more of a gray sky. And um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. It adds, a, it adds a neat effect, as you'll see here when it's all done. It comes out really cool. Um, it's called a river runs through it. We have a river coming through here at the end. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, so uh, right now I'm using the texture uh, knife brush. And this I use this for a lot of different things, for dirt, rocks, uh, mountain, snow. It's really good. It works very similar to how like you would do texturizing with a knife if you're doing Bob Ross with oils. By the way, you can do Bob Ross with, with the right kind of acrylics as well. I have some techniques where you can get this, you know, very similar results. Right now I'm using my uh, far distance tree brush just to add a little bit of quick detail back there to kind of look like, you know, there might be some tree line on the, on these top of these mountains way, way back in the distance there. And then right now I have a, another forest tree brush. I use this just to save time. If you feel like this isn't uh, pure, you know, purest enough, I only have it there for like, a lot of times I paint over it anyway. Right now I'm using my cloud brush here. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a little bit of cloud texture coming up there common technique that Bob Ross does. You kind of fade out the bottom of the mountains and do a little bit of lighter color for each layer of mountains that comes forward and it looks cool. Um, so right now I'm using that same distance uh, tree brush just to add some you know quick kind of detail. This would be similar to if you're using like a fan brush or something and just kind of you know pressing it and pushing it up and down vertically along the canvas and allows you to get some quick texture quickly. Now I'm doing some other tree brushes just to save some time because these are really far distance and I don't want to spend the time doing each individual tree because there's no need to do that. Uh, Bob Ross again would do a quick trick with the uh, fan brush to get something similar. Now I'm using my awesome blender just to kind of blend that horizontally. So if you kind of paint a bunch of stuff straight down, just paint some colors and everything that are like the reflection in the water. If you just paint all that straight down with let's say my horizontal uh, pine brush or other brushes too, and then just run across um, horizontally with that, with the uh, awesome blender brush, you already start to get something that looks like water. It's really kind of cool. And that's really the main technique. And then you can take my vertical pine brush and, you know, get some streaks in there very lightly. And bam, you have like almost like in still water. And I could have just turned this to like a lakeside and been done with it, but um, I wanted to kind of fall along. I saw this really cool landscape photo and I'm like, I kind of want to paint something like that. And of course, obviously it's it's different, but because I'm, one, I'm doing more of an impressionistic style, but it's also different because I don't ever stick directly to the photo usually or to what you're seeing. And that's what's really cool about this, you know, this paint style is that you can replicate pretty much any landscape you can think of and any landscape you can see. It, it makes it really easy to, one, to paint from imagination but it also makes it easy to paint from reference, you know, from photos or even from life. If you were to take, if you were to take this out to, um, you know, let's say on a, I believe they have Paint Storm on uh, the Apple, and I think it's on Android as well. So if you had like a good tablet, you can like take this out and just look at nature and paint what you're seeing, which is really cool because you don't have to worry about cleaning brushes or anything like that or taking paints with you and all that kind of stuff.
You can also just take your laptop, um, that'd be a little bit more of a bigger of a setup, but you can take your laptop and like a bench or something in a chair and then your Cintiq can boom, you can do it that way as well. Although, you know, laptop uh, batteries probably not going to last too long. But they have things for that if you wanted to extend the life of the battery of your laptop. We can just have more, more than one battery and swap them out and have a charger in your car or something like that. Because the tablet also doesn't have the same issue. So right now I'm actually doing some, I'm painting some trees using the tree technique. I actually teach all these techniques and I do, we do a few step-by-step um, -step paintings in my Udemy course that teaches how to paint like Bob Ross using Paintstorm here. So if you want to learn how to do all what I'm doing right here, how to paint different kinds of trees, different techniques for different kinds of clouds, mountains, all that kind of stuff, and then how to put all those techniques together and, and paint some really cool paintings, check out my Udemy course. And uh, yeah, Paint Like Bob Ross, it's on my website. Just go to masterpaintingnow.com, go to courses, and you'll see I have the course there. Right now I'm using a few of my different uh, bush brushes that add some really cool instant texture, very similar to if you were stippling with the, uh, you know, like a two-inch brush like Bob Ross does, where he uses the corner of the brush and kind of, you know, smashes into the canvas. And right now it's on sale. I think it's $13, $14, $13.95, something like that. So if you want to go grab that for a good deal, there you go. Good time. Christmas time right now. So, And also if you just know someone that is you know, an artist and might want to learn how to paint, you can always buy it, buy it for them. Uh, anyone can go there and watch the... You get, life, you get lifetime access. So how Udemy works is you buy the course. It has a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can get your money back. No questions asked. Udemy just gives you a refund. And then also um, you have lifetime access, so you can stream it at any time. So if you have internet, you can just stream it, or you can download the individual lessons and you can watch them offline. And either way, if you ever lose them, you own the course for life. You just go back to Udemy and you get the course back again. So right now I'm adding a bunch of uh, vertical strokes and I'm adding the colors that from the sky and the, and the trees that I think will show up in the water. So it kind of add this kind of mirror effect. It's a really quick, easy way. And then I'm using my um, my vertical pine brush and just lightly going over all that to add some streaks to it. Now, if you want it to be more like hazy, and I'm using my water brush, adding some of the sky color right there. If you want the water to look more hazy, you can you can just use the um, awesome blender brush, and that adds a really nice kind of cool hazy. Like it's also really good for snow too. Now I'm using my waterline brush. It's actually the brush that's on the bottom of the list. Just to add a waterline. Adding a waterline just really separates the, you know, water from the non-water and it really makes it look like more like water. And then at the end here I'm just going to be adding some uh, different waterlines. Now for some of these waterlines I'm using a brush that is my, um, what was that brush called? It is a flat brush. It's my, I call it my abstract brush. It's a brush I use to do like all my abstract and, and paintings to make them look like legit paintings. Really cool brush. It's not part of the Bob Ross paint uh, brushes, but Paintstorm comes with uh, a brush that's very similar. And you just go, go to like, I think it's the flat brushes. It's like a long flat brush and it has a lot of texture to it. So check that out. It's really cool. By flat brush, I mean the actual shape of the tip of the brush is like flat, like a line. And it has angle control, so if your tablet um, allows you to use angle brushes, then yeah. And I definitely recommend if you're going to paint with Paintstorm and you want to do this kind of style, it makes it so much funner and feels more like the actual painting. I'm adding some rocks here, by the way. And then just adding a little bit of waterline. Make sure that when you add waterline to rocks, you do it horizontally. Keep it horizontal, otherwise it won't look right. Because that's how, because rocks, you know, water is pretty much a level. So it makes horizontal lines where the rock is entering the water. Just adding some bushes over here on the left hand side. But yeah, having that tilt control just really helps the feeling like you're feeling more like you're painting. It also makes it easier and just more enjoyable altogether. So definitely get one that does that. Um, there's, some, there's some really good alternatives to Cintiq. Cintiq's kind of pricey. Um, you know, their 16, ha 16 inch has come down in price. I think it's now like 700 or something like that. But um, you can get like a Hueon or an X Pen. I believe those both have tilt support. And um, they're, they're nice. 
and I think you can get their 16 inch one for about 300 400 bucks so you can definitely save some money it's definitely not cheap but um there's also you know the tablet so if you want to get used to not drawing exactly what you're seeing you draw on a tablet and look at your monitor it's kind of takes some getting used to that way uh, whereas the ones where you draw right on the screen like the ones I'm talking about like the Cintiq and the Huion um, displays and stuff drawing right on the screen just feels more natural and easier to adjust to but if you can't afford that you can always get like a you know in Tuos tablet or something a Wac Wacom and Tuos and yeah those have tilt support and everything and I think, I think right now this smaller tablet is like 80 bucks or something so definitely affordable I remember back in the day when just getting into an Intuos tablet, that was like the latest technology. Those used to cost like $400, 500 bucks, maybe even, maybe even more. Um, that was before they even had this Antique line, so yeah, they were expensive back in the day. Now you can get the same tablet even better than what I had back in the day, and you can get those for a fraction of the cost, so really cool how technology always comes down in price. Just adding a little bit of texture to the background trees there with my brush. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, again, uh, check out my other, my other, um, I have other step-by-step real-time tutorials on this method as well on my YouTube channel, but also check out my website and uh, leave a comment and like if you liked it. Thanks.